Hello everyone, welcome to Heiko's tutorial video. In this video, I will introduce the parallel projection and perspective projection. I have already added two rectangle screen into the viewport. Let's add the parallel projection first. The parallel projection is a projection that keeps the same size of the media to the display surface, no matter the distance between the projection surface and the display surface. Let's map the media to the parallel projection. Let's set the output surface for the parallel projection to the rectangle screen. We can see that no matter the distance of the parallel projection to the display surface, the size of the media on the display surface will not change. Since we have checked both of the screen as the output surface for the parallel projection, we can map the media on both of the screen, no matter the distance they are. We can simulate the for the multi-screen display in this case. Second one is the perspective projection. Let's also set the output surface for the perspective projection and set the map the media to the perspective projection. The perspective projection is just like a projector. So when you move media that mapping on the display surface will change based on the distance from the perspective projection to the display surface. We can simulate for the corner screen and the cape screen in the immersive for the immersive side. This is a corner screen I have already built in the HECO software. Choose the perspective projection. Click on the perspective wheel to choose the best place to have an immersive experience or a keep experience in HECO software. That's all for today's tutorial. See you next video.